How do you know if you've found a Glossy Baby candle holder? It's excellent quality. Sadly, this candle holder has a chip. It's heavy for its size. It's an absolutely flawless finish. And on the bottom is a stamp. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. I'm headed to the post office and I don't remember the last time I saw clouds like this in Vegas. The sky is absolutely covered in black rain clouds. It's about 49 degrees, a bit chilly, it's 5.30. I'm heading to the post office and then to Goodwill for a shop. I'll see you there. I just had to show you these clouds one more time. There's banks of them rolling in and I bet before too long it's going to be raining. It's a uh, little before six and I'm here at my favorite Goodwill. Let's go inside and see what we can find. The color of the day is purple, purple tags, 50% off. Let's go in. Let's grab a cart. Oh, this one doesn't have a basket. Let's try this one, which is stuck. <laughs> Here we go. Let's try this one. After my video last Sunday, several of my lovely subscribers messaged me and said they hadn't received a notification of my new video. And when they went in to check, they discovered that they had been unsubscribed to my channel. So please, again, pop in just to make sure that you're still subscribed to Thrifting Vegas and all the other channels that you love, because for some reason, YouTube has swept through and done some unsubscribing without our knowledge. Oh, I just noticed some Hoka men's shoes. Hoka 1-1 is a great brand, but unfortunately these are a bit worn, so I'm going to leave them. Our new closet is finished and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'll drop in some footage at the end of the video along with a few shots of Bear, our 16-week-old German Shepherd puppy, at the end of the video. Here we are in the hard goods section. Let's have a look, see what they have. We're in the candle section. I'm still looking for Glassy Baby. I haven't found any in the wild yet. This is interesting. It's a piece of volcanic rock, it appears, made into a candle holder. This is quite a pretty art glass dish. The quality is just not uh, there for me to pick it up though. I'm checking this one for Nambe. It is actually a Wilton dish and it's a bit scratched up and worse for wear. So I'll leave it. Ooh, back here. This is a Demdaco heart. The best things come in small packages. These are lovely. I'm going to grab that. Quite an interesting baggie here. Got some odds and ends. I just don't see anything in there that's going to get me my $20 profit goal though. Here is a 3D crystal paperweight. It's a baseball player. But sadly, I see a big chip on the side there. So because of that, I'm going to leave it. 
Look at this, Lily of the Valley pattern by Fitz and Floyd. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous trinket box, only 99 cents. And over here, everybody needs a dragon claw hook for coats or purses. Fits on the wall. It's absolutely fantastic for $3.99. Let's take both of those. Over here, we have another trinket box. It's sort of a southwestern theme. It's a pretty blue color. It's a project piece for $1.99, but look at these angels. I just love this iridescent green of their robes. The detail is fantastic. They're beautifully done. I love that there's a set of three. Let's get these in the cart. $1.99. And I think her two little friends are also $1.99. Let's keep going. It's a pansy plate. More collector plates down here. Well, that's lighter than I thought it was going to be. That's a Japanese peacock plate. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Here's another baggie here. At first glance, I thought this was a Talavera owl, but I think it is a project piece. It's a little bit crudely done and it's not signed. Also a couple of plates in this baggie, a shell. It is $4.99, so I think I'm going to leave that for someone else. Checking these little vases. This one has a big chip on the rim. Oh, look at this glass rose. It's gorgeous. These sell really, really well for me. Just checking to make sure that's not a scratch, and I think it's just some sticky. There's no cracks or chips. Let's take that. This is a little Avon perfume bottle. I love that style. Here is a cloche and base, but they do want $12.99 for that. So I'm going to leave it for someone else. We're in the clear glass section. Let's have a look. They don't have as much as usual. This is a little Avon seahorse bottle. Some platters. Dishes. Bowls down here. We're in the seasonal section. It's a Christmas uh, cake stand. Thanksgiving and Easter bits here. Baskets. This looks like a tree for a reptile tank. Those are quite expensive. Maybe that should be in the pet section. Lots of egg collecting baskets, some little bunny plaques. Let's round the corner into Christmas. 
There's more little bunny decorative items here for Easter. And as usual, lots and lots on the Christmas shelves. There's a little box here. I always check inside boxes. You just never know what you're going to find. Lots of cards and bows, signs. There's a little button Christmas tree napkin holder here. I think this is a Walmart brand. I'm going to pop this in the cart just to see what they resell for on eBay. Look at this present up here. Very ornate. It's sort of a velvety material with some sequin ribbon and a gold sprayed pine cone and berries on top. These look lovely underneath your Christmas tree, especially before the presents go out. All sorts of ornaments here. It's a little snow. Oh, it's missing its base. This is a Studio Nova little salt and pepper set. It's a cat and mouse gift. They're lovely. And these are little fairy lights. You pop the candle inside and they radiate the image that's on the um, bone china there. They're both Christmas themed. I'm going to pop these in the cart. in the woods and signs and frames here. It's a little fall sign. Four seasons, winter, spring, summer and football. That's fun. <laughs> Here's a little Mickey Mouse photo album. This is brand new, about $15. Some shelves. Christmas plaques here. This is a nice little decorative box. It's wooden and painted. Oh, but sadly, the clasp is broken. It doesn't latch, so I'm going to leave that. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid, and what I expect to get for it. Everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase. So if you're interested in something you see at the price I mention, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Lots and lots of decorative wall signs today.
Here's a fairy one. This reminds me of the flower fairies that were popular when I was little. It's a huge K. Lots of drumsticks back here. New in the package. Those are interesting. Lots of knife blocks. More shelves and games. Here we are in the vases. Not too many on the shelves today. Perhaps they're going to restock for tomorrow's 40% off for Seniors Day. Some florals down here, some little pots. Most of these are florists pieces. It's a big terracotta pot. Sadly, it has a crack in it. Always worth checking. If you see something you like, just to see the quality, lift it up, have a look. There's a little Asian planter here. It's got a huge crack in it, sadly. Lots of glass. Big pots up on the top shelf here. What's this? Another little planter. And lots of florals today. Or rose bushes, lavender. Here's the metals and wires. Lots of baskets and racks here. A little lidded dish. I think it's a serving dish, quite vintage. Probably only worth about $15, but I'm going to pop it in my cart and see if I can find out who makes it. Candle holders, baskets here, wall hangings, more racks. I keep having to squeeze in close to the shelves to let people in behind me, let people through. Here's a unicycle, but unfortunately it's missing its seat.
Lots of tins, little buckets here. On the back wall here are lights and lamps and I just spotted this box of prickly pear cactus primal lights. It's a set of string light cacti. Really fun, vintage from the 80s. We just need to pop this in the cart and I'm going to walk it over to the electrical testing station around the corner here to make sure that before I buy it, it works. So they have a little table and a station here and you can plug in the electrical items that you're interested in to see if they work. Here we go, let's plug that in. That's weird, this little plate on the tester is swiveling round. I'm not sure that it's working. So what I'm going to do is unplug it here and pop it down in the main plug next to the floor here. Ta-da! It works! Yay! There we go. I'll take those. Let's get them back in the box nice and neatly. Close the box. Pop them in the cart. Here's the mug section. Again, the shelves are a bit empty. I'm guessing they're going to restock. It's a pretty stack of three here. Go have a look to see if there's sources to go with those. It's a box here. I wonder what that is. Some coasters. Oh, these are the coasters that you can put your own photograph in. These are fun. Not really seeing anything that catches my eye. Here's a threshold mug. Some of these are desirable for replacements. This is a pretty one. I think I'll pop it in the cart. And check eBay solds just to see if I can make a profit. How do you know if you found a glassy baby candle holder? It's excellent quality. Sadly, this candle holder has a chip. It's heavy for its size. It's an absolutely flawless finish. And on the bottom is a stamp. Unfortunately, this isn't a glassy baby, but it looks so close. And with that chip, I'm going to leave it. There's some Corel mugs. Summer fruit mugs. Some of these sets used to be quite desirable as replacements, but just in recent years, eBay has become so flooded with all the different styles and collections and brands that there's just not profit to be made. This, on the other hand, is a good one. M&M's, this is yellow, it's an oversized mug. Everything about it is a good thing. Let's take that. Oh. 
This is a fire department mug. It's a bit faded, so I'm going to leave it. I am now keeping an eye out for any more M&M mugs. Might be red or green in the oversize. In the glasses. Lots and lots, as usual. I'm not really seeing anything that catches my eye. Lots of tumblers. Every style you can imagine. That Mary Kay mug is still here from last time. I'm just rounding the corner into the kitcheny bits and spotted this amazing anchor hocking clear pumpkin canister. I love these. I have a yellow one. So this is definitely going in the cart. I'll put it aside for Halloween. And if nobody wants it, it will go into my personal collection. Down here, we've got that cake stand still. Let's have a look at this. It's purple tag, so it's $2.50. I think I'm going to end up with this. All sorts of bowls, nesting bowls, bakers. Lots of jars and pie plates, decanters, carafes, this little base to a butter dish. I'll have to keep an eye out for the uh, dome. some pioneer woman coasters that's just not worth picking up there's only three there should be a set of four probably worth 12 to 15 dollars let's see what's under here little cheese and cracker board let's see if it's marked no, it's quite lightweight, not ever such good quality. I'm going to leave that. Deviled egg plate is still there. Some canisters. Here's a little coffee pot that matches those cups on the other side. Sadly, a big crack and no lid. There's a pestle and mortar, not ever such good quality again. More canisters. Few people asked me what brand uh, this pattern is. I picked up a butter dish to look at it last time. It's Mikasa. And uh, again, another example of a pattern and brand that used to sell really, really well as a replacement. And now there's just so many available that the price has been driven down.
pots and pans over here. If pots and pans interest you for resale, there is definitely profit to be made if you know your brands. Many of my subscribers make really good money reselling pots and pans. Odds and ends on the end here. Baggies of utensils. Not too many today. Some hand uh, reamers there. Here is a little box of place card holders. They're little purses. They're absolutely lovely. A set of four for $3.99. This is a good pickup. I just spotted a set of three Yankee Candle Christmas candles, new in the box. However, they're priced at $14.99. That's just a bit steep for resale. They will sell for about $25. So I'm going to leave those for someone else. Here's the kitchen appliances. I'm seeing a panini maker on the shelf here. I just wanted to show you because I have one and I absolutely love it. It's Cuisinart, they want $50. Here's the little picture frames and the art section. Let's see what they have. Mostly modern pieces, decorative pieces here, some signs and plaques. Looking for originals, anything in an old vintage frame. Mirrors sell quite well. Not seeing anything today. Do have some new furniture in, some end tables, couches, it's a chaise here that looks quite comfy. zip through here take a quick look at the pet section and I think we'll call it a day Bring it back. 
Oh, good boy. Here, come. I'm really excited. They're telling me our master closet is finished. It's primed, it's painted, it's entirely custom. Let's see. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be Chris's side here. And here's my side. Nice drawers. Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled with that. So tomorrow, our granite countertop is going into the master bath here. It's one piece all the way across. The shower doors are installed. The fixtures just need to go in. Fixture is going to go on the back wall there, and then we're going to have a um, a rain shower right there. Here's the linen closet. They just need to put a handle on the door. Nice shelves there. I think we still need our toilet in. Yep, our toilet still needs to go in. But other than that, we're almost there. Here in front of me is everything I found at Goodwill. Bandit and Ziggy are here on the Thrifting Vegas blanket. Hi boys. Hi Ziggy. They're very interested in these low mold cactus lights I think it's because they get warm when they're on <laughs> you know how cats like warm you gonna say hi Ziggy there he is hey Z let's start with these there are string lights brand is Primalite, the, the prickly pear cactus. I think one bulb is out, this one, but the rest light up perfectly and I'm sure that's an easy bulb replacement. I paid $2.99 for the box and I'm going to ask $20. This is an amazing coat hook. It's like a dragon claw. You pop it on the wall like that and you can hang whatever you would like from it. A purse, a coat, a jacket. It has two sturdy nail holes. I paid $3.99 for it and I'm going to ask $40. What a great size mug this is. It's an M&M mug with the character yellow. I paid 99 cents for it. And I'm going to ask $20. Look how gorgeously painted these girls are. Little angels, I believe they're hobbyist pieces done on either a Holland or Atlantic mold piece. The detail is just amazing and I just love the green colour with the pearlized finish. Little set of three. 
I paid four dollars total. I'm going to ask 40 for the set. This is a Fitz and Floyd trinket box. The pattern is Lily of the Valley. Absolutely gorgeous. Little freesias and a ribbon with Lily of the Valley. I paid 99 cents for it. I'm going to ask $25. There's a little decorative heart by Demdaco. It's an art heart. The key actually serves as the stand to stand it up at the back. It's a lovely little cat. The best things come in small packages. I paid 99 cents for it and I'm going to ask $20. Studio Nova makes lovely salt and pepper sets. This is a set of a little mouse and a cat. It's called Santa's Little Helpers. It's brand new in the box. I paid $2.99 for it and I'm going to ask $25. I love these glass long stem roses. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It's a white bloom. Just has a little bit of sticky label on there, which I will remove. Absolutely lovely detail. I paid $2 for it. And I'm going to ask 25. Back here we have two little uh, lights. You put the tea light candle inside and the image on the bone china radiates through. This one is Santa this one is Santa's sleigh with the reindeer flying through the sky over the treetops. Little fairy lamps, absolutely lovely for the holidays. I paid $2.99 on this one, $3.99 on this one. I'm going to ask $25 a piece. I love this purse placemat place card set. What a unique idea. They're so fun. I paid $3.99 for them. I'm going to ask $25. And they are also similar to the salt and pepper sh shakers, department 56. I don't know if you noticed me looking at this gorgeous cake stand every time I went in there and this time it was still there on sale for $2.50 purple tag so I picked that up for me. Last but not least we have our gorgeous anchor hocking glass pumpkin canister. I love this and unless somebody really really wants it I'm going to add it to my collection and display it at Halloween and Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching. If you see something you're interested in purchasing please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com with your mailing address the item you're interested in, the offer price, and your PayPal email, and I'll let you know if it's still available. I'll see you next time. Bye!